As a young child, I spent many days on my grandparents' North Dakota farm. And I recall frigid winter days when we played out behind the barn. And in the old bunkhouse, my grandpa would fire up the stove to help melt the snow off our gloves and thaw our frozen clothes. While Dad pulled us cousins on an old car hood across the snowy fields behind an old case tractor while treasures were being buried in days of childhood life. Now I remember Nancy and Pearlie, that team of horses that stood as tall as dinosaurs, and they pulled that old bobsled across winter's pastures while treasures were being buried that I'm still mining today. You know, love just seemed to rise up with the heat from that old wood stove that warmed the whole farmhouse. And there was a hole cut in the ceiling so the heat could rise to the second floor. And in that bedroom up there, a curtain hung over the closet door. Us kids produced many a great show from behind that old curtain. And a single light bulb hung by a braided cord in the center of the room, and attached was a long string. It was up there in that bedroom that I first learned to sing. Buried treasures that I'm still mining today. After a long day's work and evening chores were done, music from my grandma's old upright piano rung. She'd sing from her heart, Mockingbird Hill and the Soldier's Last Letter. You know, she was the best. There just was no better. Oh, she made her own bread, donuts, and sticky rolls, and in the icy waters of the stock tank, her homemade root beer always stayed cold. Oh, these are buried treasures that I still mine today. Let me tell you about my grandpa. He weighed about 240 pounds, stood six foot four, had hands as big as catcher's mitts. And here's what he wore. Faded bib overalls, a soiled white straw hat, and around his forehead was a band as white as the North Dakota snow from wearing that old hat everywhere he'd go. Now, he was a man of integrity that thanked God for provision, the family he loved, and the land he'd been given. Treasures buried in me by a grandpa from heaven that I'm still mining today. Yes, and I had a grandma that told me she loved me and that Jesus did too. My grandpa showed me how to love God and respect the old red, white, and blue. You know, when I was too young to get a job in the city, my parents allowed me to work in the fields, so hot and so dirty. And it was there that tractors, trucks, and combines I first learned to drive, without seat belts or hard hats. But you know, somehow I survived, along with those buried treasures that I still mine today. Well, today the farm no longer exists. The house, the barn, the livestock, they're all gone. But the memories, oh yeah, the memories, they live on and on. And though the buildings have been burned and the old road I learned to drive on has been plowed under, the old mailbox, buggy, and tractors, they may be no longer. Mom, Dad, Grandma, and Grandpa, we sure miss you since you've gone away. But I want you to know that I still have the treasures you gave me, and I'm still mining them today. Mom and Dad, thank you for allowing me to be raised that way.